Amanda, what impact does Manchester Youth Zone have on young people and their families? So what I'd hope we do with young people and their families is give them a really safe space, somewhere that they feel is home from home, somewhere they feel some ownership. You know, young people always come and tell me what they want me to do better and how we can provide more opportunities and sometimes they tell us how they want us to help their families and what extra work we can do. Um, and so we've really tried to design what we do at Manchester Youth Zone to meet the needs of the community and the changing community because it's different for different young people. So I really hope that we help them find some self-belief, try some new activities, make some new friends. If they need help staying in education, getting them back in there. If they need help getting a job, really thinking about what pathways we can do. If they need help learning life skills and cooking like you do Cunwell, you know, just really having some space to develop their passion and skills and, and, and decide what they want to do in life and, and feel like they can achieve it. How has Manchester Youth Zone progressed over the last 10 years and what do you see for the future of the charity? Wow, so when, when Manchester Youth Zone was built 10 years ago it was known as Factory Youth Zone. So some young people still call it Factory, we've still got some kids who've been coming for 10 years which is amazing and, and I guess what they say has changed um, is, you know, North Manchester's had it really tough, hasn't it? So especially over the last couple of years with COVID. And we've had to really change what we do to support those children and young people. So we've developed mental health services in safe zones so young people have a safe place to go and talk to therapeutically trained youth workers. We've developed you know, free food. We're giving free membership. Um, um, we're doing food packages to take home to families. We've been doing care packages, so things like washing powder and um, just so that families can function really and I think that's what makes Manchester Youth Zone really special. What are some of the achievements of Manchester Youth Zone? Oh there's been so many achievements haven't there so um, just last year um, young people went down to Albert Hall um, and um, did a big performance in front of a crowd of thousands of people and that was really exciting. You know, just a couple of years ago we won the um, North uh, West Charity of the Year Award um, and that's a really, you know, that really shows, there's so many charities in the North West, it really shows that we've been doing some amazing work um, and we've just developed 10 impact stories of 10 young people that themselves have made brilliant achievements and all of those young people have said they wouldn't have been able to do their individual achievements without Manchester Youth Zone, which is really lovely. Um, we just had another award for Junior Choices, which is our prevention of um, serious organised crime, young people being impacted by that. And they've just won the Children and Young People Now Award. So we're always trying to get better. We're always trying to achieve more. But our achievements really come from young people's achievements. And if they're achieving, then we're doing something right. And that's what um, I'm most proud about, that every single member of staff wants every single young person to achieve um, what they want to achieve and that we work really hard for that.